Welcome to Generation Gaming everybody, I'm Justin, your Generation Gamer, and today we are playing the second tutorial in Planet Zoo. Alright, so this is the Madagascan Simian Conservation Project. The Madagascan Simian Conservation Zoo is the accumulation of Bernard Goodwin's work in the region, specializing in simian breed and release programs, as well as championing and highlighting the di diverse species of apes and monkeys but never one to be complacent. Bernard now wants to see what you can do in this most promising location. Start new. Oh, I should have switched it to hard. Oh well, we'll leave it at medium. A and planet zoo. Okay. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work, not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> what do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the All ones right. that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. All right. Well, I guess I just hit. There we go. She said. What? No. What are you doing? Okay. The red. What lemurs? Ah, the red rough lemurs. Alrighty. There we go. All right, let's. Red get in a little lemurs closer. are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Oh wow! Fancy that, eh? Okay, when yeah. you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Oh, but I want to. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna boost their enrichment. Well, actually. They look to be fine. 57%. 6 out of 8. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. Let's go habitat. Let's go toys. And then... Let's see. They are the... Red... Yeah, red ruffled lemurs. How do you spell ruffle? Oh, just ruffed. Gotcha. Alrighty, so let's go with toys. And they want all balls and sprinklers. Everything's out of the placement area. Fine then. Give them some small balls. Mm. 
and some pianos. Outside the placement area. What? That doesn't make any sense. Little ducky. I can't place anything. Alrighty, fine. Let's go find. Yes. The bony and orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in, and they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> wow. Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. <laughs> oh, why did you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Animal camera. Ooh. Aren't they just incredible? King Louis. When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Nobo. That's a funny name. Let's go take a look at the oh, bonobo. Dear. It looks no. like we've arrived just in time. One of the yep. habitat's barriers has collapsed. Yep, and yep, wouldn't yep. you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch Great. them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Okay, so what I want to do... Good, now open the animals tab. Animals. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Box up all animals. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, nope. we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Go into the zoo oh. section and then into the staff management area. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. A vet. Now Generian. click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Great. Now let's deal with our escapee before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Okay, that's <laughs> Look at all the people. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. Head back over there. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go to the bonobo so animals. And boom. As you can right. see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. All right, cool. Ah, edit barrier. Good. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That way the okay. bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Edit barrier. Flat top. Nicely done. And there I think go. it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Yes. The poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. And finally, click on Unbox All Animals to let them out. I expect some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. <laughs> so, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. 
You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work mm. there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Okay. Oh, Ooh, scenario nine. I hear you Very had sensitive. a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Okay. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than mm -hmm. a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order uh, for yes. a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> and once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build uh, one. Uh, I've marked out right. an area for you to put it. Alrighty, let's find out where that is. Locate highlighted area. Bada bing, bada boom. You've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. No. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow ah, shell. So we're right able there. to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Research center. Okay, so okay. staff facility. Click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in ah, just ah. yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Okay. But what? Okay, hold on a minute. I also need to rotate. Ah! Alrighty, that was that was crazy. Forgot how to how to rotate. Okay. Boom. No, I want this. Okay. Let's just get rid of all this, even though she said it would go inside. Okay, research facility, but obstructed. But this is where she wants it. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. I am making you all dizzy, I'm sure. Is it on the inside? It is on the inside. That is why it's obstructed. Leaked. There we go. Now. Place. How do you... Oh, wait. Ah, if I look right here, I could see that to rotate, raise, lower. Okay, rotate is Z. Plus left to right. Okay. Alrighty, so hold down Z. Oh, you move your cursor left to right. There we go. Connect it more to the path. And there we go. Boom. Done. Right. Splendid work. 
Now that we have that a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vet something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go into the zoo okay. section and select vet research. All right. Vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo and also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. All right, so we'll get we'll get Mr. or Mrs. Riggins. I don't know how to pronounce that first name, but we'll get Riggins to... Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Hmm. Let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Alrighty. All the way to the ring-tailed lemurs. Bing, bada, boom. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see or can uh -huh, like. Facilities. Pop them down on a stand. Education boards. All right, so we want habitat education board set. Yeah, we'll go with that. All righty. That facing the wrong way. I think that's facing the wrong way. So I hit Z. Ah, haha. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And then And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Although okay, I'm sure so that last part was obvious. When you Alrighty. link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Ring tailed lemur. Okay, now that they've Here been put into position, we have to tell oh, them wow. what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Oh, yeah, I already do that. Ring-tailed lemur. Information board. Mm. Nope. I'm gonna put another one. Ooh, that is huge. See? And then ring tail okay. lemur again. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of I speakers. I gotta do two of them. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education boards. All right. And then ring-tailed lemur. And then ring-tailed lemur. Fantastic. Oh, it's bada worth bada remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh. Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need okay. to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Go on, collect your research rewards. Just so you Alrighty. know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I okay. suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the learning zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. 
Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Animals, ring-tailed lemurs. There's the rough tail. All right. Go here. Come on. Does this thing just freeze on me? Next, oh, there click we on go. the terrain tab. Terrain. Ah, okay. now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. Right. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. All right, why are you lagging? Don't lag, please. There we go. That's not what I want. I want this one. Can I not pick any other one? Why do you keep freezing? Ah, there we go. Mm. All right. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's okay. true of all of us, though, isn't it? Yes. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Okay. Alrighty, so if I'm gonna zoom. Facilities. Mm. The research. <laughs> Unlocked food level two. Okay. Alrighty. Ring tailed lemurs. How do I pick the ring tailed lemurs habitat? I picked the habitat. Lovely. Now select oh, the animals God. tab. Animals? All right. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop down menu and select grade two food quality. Grade two uh, food quality. Right My there. mouth's already Bam. watering. <laughs> so, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, yeah. you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> Good. Now, I think yeah. it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. Uh -huh. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Oh, cool. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. All right. Cool. I'm there. Now what? Okay, 
I'd like you to find oh, again, again, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel and find him in the animals list. There you go. Egg gun. All right. You did say Agung, right? Okay. I'd like you to find Agung, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select yeah. him, please. You can Done. either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Done. Ah. You cannot do undo this action. That is perfectly fine. Let's release. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely Thank got you. potential, you know. All right. What's next? Ah, I see you've been doing some uh, homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. Tortoises. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I love I've marked this part. an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Alrighty. Zip on over. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Okay. So what are we doing? Okay. A Gila monster exhibit. Alrighty. So, bam. We need... Large zoo exhibit. Planet zoo small exhibit. Yeah. No? Okay. Oh, it's gotta be. Ooh. Alright, I gotta. Select group to add. Oh, group 30 to add. Group 30. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a Gila monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Alrighty. Uh, Just no. as we do with habitat animals, we send need to, to the send the Gila monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't right. mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the Enrichment Level 1 items unlocked at the moment. Never mind, okay. let's turn on at least one of them for the Healer Monster. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more Enrichment Levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now, we'll also yep. need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our okay, Healer so... Monster happy and comfortable. Click so on the Climate tab. Needs to go down. Here, you can see the Gila monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Not too far down. Boom. Go down. The ticket? Perfect. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. You can edit right. and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? 
All right, we'll go with the 3D There's also facade. An exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Need what now? All righty. Place an exhibit education board. Oh, wow, it is really raining. All righty. Facilities. Need that education board. Let's uh, hit Z and rotate. Boom. Bada bing. Z. Rotate. Bada boom. All righty. Click. And then heal a monster. What? What? No. Why is the heal a monster not? Exhibit education board. Uh, okay. Then let's go ahead and right click and then delete. Delete. Alright. Get one of these. And Z rotate. Boom. Click. Z rotate. Boom. Click. Just All like right. the education boards and speakers we put down yep. for the ring-tailed lemurs, you'll now need to link I these to the healer monster. Go on. Thing. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, that? now, That's what I I've want, got right a bit there. of a big job for you. I need there. you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean okay. building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go oh, on, yes. off you pop. I'll check all in right. with you when you're almost done. Oh, wow. So I need at least 12, new, 12 species in the zoo. Okay. Okay, so I just need to do three more. Okay. So, I need to do three more exhibits. Where do I want to build exhibits? So, let's see. Wow, there's not a lot of space, is there? Okay, so I just want to do three exhibits. See where the paths go. Ooh. Okay, so that's the entrance and exit. I want to come this way. Alrighty, I could probably do an exhibit. Ooh, here we go. I could do an exhibit right here. Wait. Can people actually walk in here? Ooh. Ooh, people can walk in here. Alright. That research completed. Awesome. Continue. All right. It's fine. All right. So I need three more exhibits. I can do one right. I can put one right here. So let's go to exhibit. Exhibit animal storage. Aha! Here we go. Location. Oh, do I have to adopt the animal first? Alrighty. Let's go. Adopt. And adopt. There we go. And now I can go to exhibit. Boom. Species. Select all. Animal market. No, exhibit animal market. Okay. Ooh. No. Adopt. Adopt. And then let's. Ah! Exhibits. 
Aha. Okay, so that's storage. Exhibit animal storage, animal trading. That's animal storage. Okay. So what I need is habitat. Okay, exhibits repurchased. Can be found under facilities, small animal exhibit. Okay, so yeah, so facilities. That's not true. Okay. Each exhibit can hold one species. Exhibits can be found under facilities. Staff facilities. Guest facilities. Ah. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. Obstructed, obstructed. How's it obstructed? Ooh. There we go. And then, ah ha ha. We'll mark it. And then, boop. 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 Send to zoo. Awesome sauce. Then, Climate. Aha, temperature needs to come down a bit. Uh huh, come on. A little bit more. Beautiful. Too much? Oh, just right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. Alright. Then. Layout. Not yet researched. Okay. So then I can go to zoo. Da. Wait. Research. There we go. There we go. Let's staff. Let's hire new veterinarians. There we go. Then I can also go. All right, so now I need habitat. I need, actually first, I need 
barriers. Actually, no, no, construction. Let's go pathways. Signs, props, special effects. Architecture. Go. Nope. Okay, fine. Oh, here we go. Yes. Here we go. We're gonna... There we go. Now I need barriers. Boom. Oh, come on now. Right there. And then there he is. There we go. Oh yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Now I can go to here. I can go to stored animals. No, come on. Send to zoo. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. Now. Oh yeah. This is what I. Now. Oh my gosh, the rain. The rain is insane in Madagascar. All righty. Now I can go to. Click here, and then I can. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I know what I need there. I need. What is it? Facilities. Boom. And then click it. Bam. Done for that. Okay. And then this. I can put one of these. Boom. Boom. And then, boom. Then I could also the speakers. No, oh, did I really put that on top of the thing? I did. I need to move that one. Oh, I put that one on top of it, too. Not where I want those. Close. 
Let's move it on the ground. Let's worry about that later. Let's go click. All right, welfare. Need to bring it up to. All right, so habitat. Needs plants and hard shelter. Just need plants. Okay, where'd they go? Okay, there's one. shelter for it. Okay, so it wants food enrichment. Alrighty. Plants. Ah, here we go. Tropical nature. Tropical, grasslands, and temperate. South Central Africa. Ah, ah, here we go. So, continent. South Central Africa. There we go. 
and then biomes. We want, again, tropical. Grasslands. And temperate. Wait, did that increase or decrease? So if I do this, if I take away grasslands. Interesting. Temperate. Okay, it's working. Cancel. All right, so those I have to buy. Um, let's see. Ooh, here we go. Coverage is still only 10%. Okay. There we go. There. So I just need to add one more. I'm going to add another exhibit. But hold on. How do I get power? Not powered. Okay, so I need a mechanic. Education, and okay. I need power. How do I get power? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and go build these. Then, go here. Let's see, what do I want?
admit, I just really have no clue what I'm doing. Boom. Z. Boom. Oops. Control Z. Boom. Boom. All right, no power. How do I get power to staff facilities? Workshop. That's surgery, okay. All animal exhibits. That's just a, ah, utilities, there we go. Solar panel. All righty. Transformer. Wind turbine. Zoo facilities will not run unless there are powered, therefore maintaining power. By essentialism, okay, functioning zoo. Transformers are relatively cheap to build, but have a large function radius. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This I want connected objects zero. Okay, so what I want. Oh, that definitely has a larger radius. If I were to put that right there. It would encompass everything I just put down. Awesome. Eight things. There. Everything is powered. Now, if I go here. No. Oh. Animal welfare has attracted. Okay. I'll take care of that. 11. But I just brought three. Hmm. Something's not right. Here we go. Okay, layout. I can't, I have to wait till. Alrighty. What about this one? Temperature. All right, that up. Bring this down. A little bit more. Done. Okay. Alrighty, fine. I will bring one more in. Let's go with 
We got the Gila monsters. We got snail. We don't want snails. We don't want giant. Alright, let's bring some snails in. And then go to habitat. Nope. Facilities. Small. Boom. Boom. And then boom. My my, you have been busy, haven't you? There we go. Blended. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, yes. I mean you. Go on, get to it. There we go. Alright, cool. Now I just need to go... There we go. Alrighty. Boom. Oh, I need a path, huh? I need a path. There we go. There. Now it's accessible. All right, now let's check the welfare of our animals. Ooh. Why are they sad? Let's see. All right. So their welfare. All right, so they need a hard shelter, and then they're not enriched enough. So let's take a look at their. Okay, so they want a hard shelter. Ooh, umbrella thorn tree. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. There. All right, and then they need more terrain for for coverage. All right, so let's go nature. They just need tropical. E R O P I C A L. Actually, you know what? That's right. We can just filter. Let's get rid of this. Filter. Let's go. Is it Africa? All right. Africa. And then biome is tropical. Boom. All righty. Cool. Alrighty. Ooh. Yeah. 
let's go ahead and give them fig tree. Oh, right there. Yeah, I think they'll like one right about here too. There we go. That should definitely be enough. All right, cool. What else do they need? Um, a hard shelter. So, habitat. Sleeping shelter. And then let's type in, what is it now? Oh, come on. Oh, I just need a scroll. Bandu. Oh, Banabu. Bonobo. Bonobo. I can't read. Haha. <laughs> B-A-N-O. B. What? Oh. Bonobo. I spelled that right, right? B, B, O, N, O, B, O. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, let's do this one right here. Boom. Now they have the hard shelter. So now they just need some enrichment. So we'll go to here. And they need food enrichment. Food. Let's back out a bit. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Bam. Alrighty. And then what else? Species toy enrichment. Put two of these. Two of these. And then a mirror mobile. Right there. And right there. All right. How are they now? They're up. They're good to go. Oh, man. Two hours of recording. I love this. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They need water. Let's go... Nope, not facilities. Habitat. E-A-I-R-D-S. Food and water. Nutrition. Food troughs. There we go. Let's see. Nourishment. Last meal. Fly or remove. Okay. Let's see. Last meal quality. Hmm. Negative swimming area. Ooh, they need a swimming area. Okie dokie. Wonder if. Lovely job there. You should oh. be proud of yourself. Not only <laughs> have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Cool. Wow. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. 
a wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> mm, thank <laughs> Who you. Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Is that it? Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and save it right there. That's going to be it for Planet Zoo today. Next time we play, we'll be going into the panda park. Thanks for watching. See ya. If you liked that video and want to see something else I did, click this video here. Or, if you want to see what YouTube picked out for you, click this video here. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And if you didn't like it, tell me in the comment section below. And let me know what I can do to make it viewable for you. See ya.